Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our NFL Week 1 preview between the Oakland Raiders and the Indianapolis Colts. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Raiders. Aside from Terrell Pryor starting at quarterback, the real focus should be on the Raiders receiving core. This is a young group that needs to step up and come ready to play each and every week. And that offensive line will be weakened at the tackle spot with Bell here out and possibly Menelik Watson, a rookie draft pick out of Florida State. Defensively, I think the Raiders are fine in the back seven. Rookie linebacker C.O. Moore is a stud, and I think they're capable in the secondary. It'll be interesting to see how well Charles Woodson performs out there at safety this season, along with Tyvon Branch. But the biggest question I have is the defensive line. Can they get pressure on a quarterback? And if they can't get to Andrew Luck this week, it could be a long day out there for the Raiders as he has some outstanding weapons that he can get the football to. Now let's move over to the Colts in this ballgame and Andrew Luck is poised to build on a very solid rookie campaign and the Colts spent the offseason building that offensive line around him with right tackle Gosher Cherilis and left guard Daniel Thomas. They have a solid group of pass catchers as well with Reggie Wayne, T.Y. Hilton who's ready to break out this year and on defense I like the improvements they made in the front seven bringing in Abreu Franklin and Josh Chapman returning from injury that should help boast of that run defense that struggled last season and also rookie outside linebacker beyond Warner from Florida State this is a guy that can get pressure off the edge in this matchup they're going to have to play with controlled aggressiveness versus Terrell Pryor they can't break contain otherwise he can make them pay with his legs the run game in my opinion is the biggest concern about the Colts this season they can't do that running back by committee approach I don't think that works in this instance they have to find a guy that can be the bell cow whether it be Ahmad Bradshaw Big Ballard, Donna Brown, someone has to carry the load to take some of that pressure off of Andrew Luck. Now let's go inside the lab to take a look at some X's and O's for both teams in this matchup. When you have a mobile quarterback like the Raiders do in Terrell Pryor, it puts the defense in a bind. They don't want to play man because they don't want it to look like a three-by-one relay team where you have the cornerback, the receiver, and the quarterback all running in the same direction. So they tend to show a cover two look. And here's how the Raiders can take advantage of Pryor's athleticism in the passing game. You see right here, we're going to have drawn up what we like to call a power pass stretch. We're going to add a tight end on the line of scrimmage for the wide receivers out here. And we're going to put Terrell Pryor in a short shotgun, almost a pistol look with two backs in the backfield. Marcel Reese, the fullback, and Darren McFadden, the tailback. And nine times out of ten, like I said before, you're going to see a cover two look. So we're going to drop the Colts defense. I'm going to put a backer on the outside. Your standard 3-4 defense, backer over the tight end. Your two backers in the middle. Safety here. Safety there. Corners off a little bit because they don't want to get beat, like I said. And we're going to have it drawn up this way. Now, the stretch play is we're going to have guys all showing stretch motion as if we're running the stretch. But they're playing contain, they're contain blocking. Everyone's taking that zone step out. Marcel Reese is leading the way. He's going to, his job is solely to keep contain on that end if he's rushing. And we're going to have Terrell Park. We're going to fake the handoff to Darren McFadden. You're going to open out. Turn your back to the defense. That's key. That holds those linebackers. It also gives the illusion of the running game. Turning his back, faking the handoff, and now we have the tight end stalking out like he's zone blocking, but he's running that split down the middle of the field. So if you're playing cover two, you want to attack the middle because you have your, your linebackers dropping in your zones. Everybody's taking their half responsibility. You have these guys playing close and then playing their, their uh, coverages. So we're going to take that zone step. Tight end is going to shoot down the middle of the field. We're going to have the receiver take that outside release. And versus man, you keep going. Versus zone, I'm sorry, versus zone, you keep going. Versus man, you want to break it in and cut off right there, giving Terrell Pryor a nice window. Here's the hot route, the built-in hot route, if they're playing man. You shoot Marcel Reese out in the flat, and backside you have your takeoff route. And again, if they're playing man, you keep going. If they're playing zone, you want to break it off. I'm sorry, zone, you keep going, man, you break it off and we'll hit the comeback. So that's how Terrell Pryor can have some success throwing the football versus the Indianapolis Colts. Because of his mobility, he tends to dictate coverage, and then I think they can have a chance this week versus the Indianapolis Colts on the road. The Indianapolis Colts have to make sure when they're getting pressure on Terrell Pryor, they don't lose contain, and that way they can be effective and perhaps cause some turnovers. And I'm gonna show you a banjo blitz that shows a pre-snap cover two look, but it's really a cover one, and it also sends the strong side cornerback on the blitz. I'm gonna show you how we have it drawn up Classic 3-4 look, you're going to have your backer over the tight end, your tackle, your nose, your tackle, your weak side backer, and your two inside backers with your cornerback aligned, showing cover two, so he's off. 
This cornerback shows cover two as well, playing off. And we have the free safety, the strong safety, I'm sorry, on this side and the free safety on this side. Now, how are we going to get pressure while keeping contained? Simple. Let's show you the pressures up front and how we're going to do it. We're going to have the, the linebackers, they all have their banjo coverage. Push hard, drop back into your ban banjo coverage. So these three backers toward the strong side have banjo coverage. Now up front, the strong side defensive end is going to slant across the face of the guard and attack that, I'm uh, sorry, of the tackle and attack that B gap. So he's going to shoot in here. And we're going to have the nose loop across the tackle and contain in the C gap. So he's playing contain on the strong side, looping across the tackle's face and playing in that C gap. We're going to have the weak side tackle playing his five technique position and his job is to keep contain versus the pass. We're going to have your weak side backer. He's going to blitz. He's going to delay slightly. He's going to drop back and attack this B gap and that's how you can get pressure with keeping contained versus the outside run. Now here's the strong side pressure. The cornerback's job as he tends to feel as though the, the snap is about to happen, he's going to drift, drift, drift and then shoot and also play contained outside that C gap and his job is to not only chase Terrell Pryor but chase the re weak side run. If they're going this way, his job is to chase that weak side run. And to protect yourself versus this receiver over here, we have the strong safety moving as the cornerback is moving. And his job is to man up on that receiver out there. Weak side corner is showing cover two. Snap of the ball, he's jumping to his inside and playing on the inside shoulder, riding this guy outside. And we have the free safety dropping back in your deep third. So you see how it's a cover one post snap but cover two pre-snap, and that's how you can get pressure on Terrell Pryor without losing contain by sending that corner and looping that nose tackle around to control that C-gap. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this matchup. For the Raiders, they have to generate pass rush. We talked about that earlier. That's imperative for these guys to have any type of success defensively. And they can't overthink the offensive game plan just because Terrell Pryor is in there. Run your base setup plays, your base packages, and also sprinkle in some things that he does well. Don't call design run plays. Let him break contain on plays that break down. Do not call design run plays for your mobile quarterback. I have to stress that. And the Raiders have to make sure they execute both offensively and defensively. This is a team that can't afford any mental mistakes. They have to play sound football on both sides of the ball. And for the Colts in this matchup, Andrew Luck has to protect the football better this season. You don't want to throw the ball 30 to 35 times a game. That puts him at risk to throw interceptions. It also puts him at risk behind that offensive line. Run the football a little bit more and you'll see his ball security go up this season. And you have to win the special teams aspect of this ball game versus Oakland who has some outstanding returners and they also have a deadly kicker in Sebastian Janikowski and you also want to pressure Terrell Pryor but the pressure has to come from within so your interior pressure your A gap to B gap pressure has to be in effect while the guys on the outside in that CD gap have to play contained keep him bottled up in the pocket and get your pressure from within. The X Factor for the Raiders will be their interior offensive line. I just mentioned it that the Colts will try to get pressure from within. That interior offensive line is not only the key to pass protection, but also a key to getting Darren McFadden going in the running game. And speaking of the running game, you see the common theme here. The Colts have to run the football. Last year, they put the ball in the air way too many times. They were in a lot of shootouts. They were in a lot of close games because they couldn't close it out with the ground game. That has to change this season. They have to find someone in the backfield that can be consistent from week to week. I like the Raiders in this ball game. Tackle issues aside, I think the guard play is what's key in this matchup for the running game and also for pass protection. I think Pryor will do a great job in keeping these guys ahead of the chains. Receivers will step up and make plays. But when you look to the defensive side, I like what they have in the secondary. I think they match up well versus the Colts wide receiver. So this will be an interesting ball game. Very close week one upset. And I think there's always one each and every year. And I do think the Raiders match up very well versus the Colts. So I think they go on the road and knock off Indy in week one. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Raider fan forums and Colt fan forums for always showing football game plan support.